Hey, what is happening, guys? And thank you for tuning in to Rules for Rebels. Today is episode 76 of Side Hustle Tuesdays, part of our weekly side hustling series. Now, I think you guys are really going to like today's episode, and I know I say that every week, uh, but today's episode is really approachable, and that's really what side hustles should be, right? Side hustles are something that we can create uh, in our spare time outside of our 9-to-5 job while still working our 9-to-5 job ideally with little money or even potentially no money and with skill sets and or equipment that we already have. So the bar for side hustles is already pretty attainable, pretty achievable, but some of these stories are a lot more relatable for somebody completely new to get started doing and some that deal with like manufacturing might be a little bit more intimidating. Well, today's, uh, today's side hustle story involves a guy who decided to start selling gigs on Fiverr and he started selling his gigs just, I will tell you a joke for $5. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys could go on the internet, Google knock knock jokes and start selling them for $5. This is very, very attainable. Once he had a little bit of success, he realized he needed to come up with some, some gigs that provided a little bit more value. But this, this story today is something that literally every one of you guys could do. Now, do you think you could make a million dollars, five dollars at a time? Like, that's a lot of money, right? That'd be kind of a tall task, but definitely very doable. How about a hundred thousand dollars? Do you think you could make six figures selling five dollar items or five dollar gigs at a time? You'd have to do it 20,000 times, but it's definitely doable. And one kind of cool thing about Fiverr is over the past couple years, Fiverr has transitioned from only allowing you to sell five dollar gigs, of which you actually only pocket four dollars, to allowing you three tiers. So now graphic designers and other types of freelancers are able to charge a lot more than $5. So it definitely makes it very easy to scale. But one message I really wanted to get across before we kind of launch into this episode is I see a lot of people kind of turning their nose up at small amounts of money. Small amounts of money add up to big amounts of money if you do whatever task or sell that item enough times. I think a couple weeks ago, um, I posted a video of the guy selling potato peelers on the street in New York who had a penthouse on Park Avenue or one of those fancy streets, right? Like selling $5 potato peelers. Uh, when I first started my e-commerce business on eBay, we were packing orders for a buck an order, two bucks an order. I was spending hours a night to make a dollar or two per order. Um, and now that business has grown to doing three million per year in sales. Uh, even Amazon Merch, which right now for me is bringing in between like $900 and $1,000 a month. My first year on Amazon Merch, I probably collectively made under $100. Within the past year, I, I may have one month where I made $1.96. Most things that you start out doing are not gonna be worth it for the money early on, but you're doing it to build it and scale it into something larger. So don't turn your nose up at small amounts of money. It can turn into something big. And that's kind of what we're gonna talk about with today's side hustle story that we're about to get into right now. And I forgot to add one last thing. If you wait till the end of this video and watch through the whole thing, I'm going to share a technique that can really boost your Fiverr business. It's a little bit black hat, but I will share that with you guys. And for those of you guys who think that you're just going to fast forward to the last 30 seconds of the video, I may share the tip halfway through. So you got to watch the whole thing. Let's get into today's episode. Hey guys, so as I alluded to in the intro, uh, today's side hustle story is about Dion Link, who made over $100,000 selling gigs on the freelancing site Fiverr. Dion had a goal to make a million dollars, and this was his avenue to reach that goal. When walking through a store, do you ever look at products and think, who came up with the name for that? Heck, this past week for the 4th of July, a buddy and I drove down to Indiana to pick up some fireworks. They're illegal in Illinois, so we got to take a drive to buy them. Anyhow, as we were walking through the store, I was looking at some of the names of the fireworks, thinking, who comes up with these names? But somebody has to, right? That's somebody's job. And that's the kind of thing that inspired today's side hustlers to start his gig service and business on Fiverr.com. Today's side hustler, Dion, learned about Fiverr a number of years back. He decided to create a gig and run a test just to see if gigs actually sell and if people actually use the site. Dion regularly had people tell him he was a pretty funny guy. So for his first gig and for his test, he created a gig where he said he'd tell you a joke for $5. To Dion's surprise, he actually started selling gigs about a week in, and the money was starting to come in. Dion was both surprised and happy by the response, and he realized that every $5 gig he sold was $5 closer to that million bucks he wanted to earn. Dion did, however, realize that while his joke gig brought in a couple bucks, he really wanted to do something more scalable and something that provided a bit more value to people. Having tested that idea and had success, he was looking for an evergreen type business or service that people would need. 
He needed to find a skill that wouldn't take a ton of time to do, but also one which provided value to the customer. And that's really the secret to Fiverr.com is finding something that provides value, but also doesn't take you a ton of time. You know, I feel bad for a lot of these graphic designers working on Fiverr who, you know, in the end are getting $4 and they're having to do like six revisions of a design for somebody. It's taking them an hour, hour and a half. It's just really not worth it for that. So to really succeed on Fiverr, you have to find a gig that you can either auto deliver um, with software or one that doesn't take up a ton of time for you to do. Having a background in graphic design, Deanne remembered that one challenge people had was coming up with a name for their blog, their website, their product, their business, those types of things. It was a real pain point and it's something people struggle with. And as far as the value proposition, sometimes having the right name can lead to the right marketing, which can make or break a business. So there's definitely value there. Dion set up his first real gig. He promised to help you name your product, business, vlog, or whatever else you needed a name for, for just five bucks. He guaranteed all names were original, so no repeats, and that the, uh, the names he came up with would allow for great branding. Now, because Fiverr is free to create an account, his startup cost him all of zero dollars. Fiverr does take a percentage from each sale, so after selling a five dollar gig, Fiverr pockets a buck and gives you four dollars. But aside from them taking a cut, there's no actual cost to using their service. After setting up his gig, Dan realized he couldn't rely solely on Fiverr's search algorithm to bring him traffic, especially right off the bat with a new gig. So Dan decided to figure out where his target customers would hang out. Well, his target customers were entrepreneurs, so Dion began guest posting for some entrepreneur blogs. He also began commenting on entrepreneur forums. He tended to focus on mom and parent entrepreneurs who are doing entrepreneurship on the side. That was kind of his niche. Dion would provide a thoughtful comment or advice on a forum and then either link directly to his Fiverr gig or use a link in his signature to link to his Fiverr gig. People who read his comments and like what he had to say could directly link to his Fiverr gig. And this was a pretty good idea as it's a way for him to pro provide some value for free before asking for money. And it was also a way for him to establish himself as an expert and make people more confident doing business with him. Dion realized that by delivering high quality work consistently, he would get more repeat business and referrals. And this worked out for him and his business grew. But $5 is a relatively small amount of money and it takes a lot of $5 sales to add up to something big. I think you would have to have $20,000 $5 sales to, to make $100,000. Well, the game changer for Dion was when Fiverr began allowing sellers to offer upsells in multiple packages as opposed to just selling gigs for $5. Gone were the days of only charging $5. Now he could offer upgraded packages for as much as he wanted. Dion eventually created three packages. For $35, you would get three names. For $65, you would get three names and a tagline. For your product or business and for $95 you would get everything in the previous packages you get three names three taglines and you'd also get a custom web domain all of this helped Dion eventually earn over six figures and to date he has worked with over 5,500 satisfied clients Dion is still pursuing his goal of making a million dollars although at this point it's no longer five dollars at a time Dion also has recently created his own private label product which while he didn't tell me what the product was I'm sure it's got a killer name Dion is looking to continue doing his naming service on Fiverr, working on his own private label product, and one goal he has is to better learn about investing so that he can make smarter decisions when investing the money that he's making. So guys, that's today's side hustle episode. I know I mentioned at the beginning I'd share with you a hack for Fiverr. Now this is somewhat black hat, so use caution if you do this, but Fiverr, like eBay, like Amazon, like Google and YouTube, it's run by an algorithm. Well, ultimately, none of us know exactly what plays into these algorithms. One thing that plays heavily is sales. Amazon merch, for example, buy a few of your own t-shirts, you get a BSR score. The more you sell, the higher it goes, the higher the BSR score goes, the higher you rise in search, and you wind up getting more organic shirt sales as well. Well, Fiverr works roughly the same way. If you can en en enlist friends and family and heck, even strangers from the internet to buy your gigs over a period of a short period of time, I guarantee you your gig will start showing up high in search results and you'll start getting more organic sales. And if you do it, and if you do right by those quote unquote real customers, i.e. not your family and friends, your gig is sure to continue to grow. I would say spending about 50 to hundred dollars on getting 10 to 20 sales of your gig over the course of a couple days or a week will get your, your gig ranked pretty well and will get, get you started getting a couple sales per day. This is something very easy. This uh, side hustle is something very easy to do and something that any of you guys could start doing today. If you're having trouble thinking of a skill to offer, browse the site and see what else is selling. 
If you want to start off with something goofy just to learn the platform, offer to tell a joke or do a narration and just read something for somebody. There's plenty of people out there who are not uh, English, not native English speakers who wind up using robots and things on YouTube videos. Well, I'm sure those people would like to pay to have somebody read out their script as opposed to using like a robot. So it's so, so many opportunities out there. Um, tell a joke, narrate something, uh, find an easy gig that you can do while figuring out the site and figuring out what you really want to offer. Anyhow, guys, that's today's episode of Side Hustle Tuesdays. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you were inspired. And until next time, this is Rules for Rebels and Side Hustle Tuesdays signing out.